you just heard Dr. Matthew uh, defending the entire scheme, saying it's very early days to come to any conclusion. Uh, would you agree that despite a few months of at least initially some mutual funds showing a lot of interest in this scheme, uh, it seems to be dying out, the interest level in this scheme? Thank you for calling me here. Uh, I agree with uh, Dr. Matthew that yes, it is early days, no doubt about it. Uh, typically, tax-saving investment starts in the last week, last uh, month or a couple of months of the financial year. That's February, March. And the scheme was launched only in February. And of course, mutual funds also took a lot of initiative to publicize and have a lot of advertisements, holdings, meetings, etc. to popularize this. Uh, uh, one of the fears that uh, we had expressed earlier as well is the fact that uh, this particular option is segmentized and put to only one section of investors, that is the investors uh, who have a DMAT account. Uh, all other people are exempted, which essentially means that if I have to uh, look at an option of investing in RGSs, I will have to go through the process of opening a DMAT account and I have to hold the units only in DMAT account. So this became a very tedious issue for many of the new investors who are coming in because uh, being a new investor, they don't understand DMAT, they don't understand capital market, etc., etc. So in, in our view, uh, it also restricts the distributors of mutual fund to a certain extent to disseminate and sell these products to the new investors. And therefore, we were suggesting that RGSS, if it is open up, uh, even if it is for new investors, uh, as a scheme similar to ELSS, this will really help uh, garner a huge amount of money. If you notice the schemes that were launched, we had about, uh, we are collected close to 300 crore, 280 crores uh, on the NFOs that we have launched, out of which only 51 crore amounts to the RGSS uh, uh, benefit, you know, people have taken benefit in that. Uh, again, the total number of investors in these RGSS schemes were 40,000 during that period. And there are only 20,000 people who have availed the tax benefit, which essentially brings down the issue to the extent that Yes, people are interested in taking tax benefit, but then it has to be a non-complicated investment that people will be looking at. And therefore, our request has been, A, uh, to extend it to all investors. If that is not possible, extend it to the new investors into capital market. When you say capital market, it should include mutual fund investment as well, because now PAN is mandatory for every investment. So we surely can identify each investor who is coming in, whether it is new or old. In that sense, we can get new investors into mutual fund as well. And to extend it to all new investors, even in mutual fund, not necessary to have a DMAT account. So if these two changes are made, uh, the amount can be much higher. The third point that we were talking about is that we also uh, need to make this RGS is uh, requirement less complicated by not having a limit of 10 lakhs or 12 lakhs or 15 lakhs, etc., uh, which actually keeps away many people who have high disposable income but not venture into the capital market yet, they are still not attracted into the capital market.